the flavor? The flavor? My sauce didn't thickened up here. Hold on. My sauce didn't thicken up, but that's okay. Sauce it again, y'all. Sauce it again. Oh my God, the guy. Hello, my YouTube family. Happy holidays. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Okay, so today, here's the star of the show. She needs to be clean, as you can see. So I just have our beautiful chicken here. Let me just pour out some of this water so you can see it. Here's a nice, beautiful roasting chicken. Uh, probably about five or six pounds. Nothing fancy. It was like six bucks. I found this joint on sale for like six dollars at the local grocery store. So we are about to see. First of all, we are about to clean this bad boy up. Then we are going to season it to perfection. And then we're going to take it up a few notches. Y'all already know how I do. So I'm going to clean this, like I said. Then you guys. We are going to transfer it over to our um, roasting dish here, um, which is just some uh, roasting racks right here. And I just have like an aluminum regular degular pan. Nothing crazy. Okay, I'm going to roast it right on here, uncovered, no foil, no anything. Here's our beautiful seasonings that we will be using, you guys, today. Our, I always go ahead and pre-mix in a bowl. So we are using black pepper, granulated garlic, all-purpose herb some salt free garlic and herb new orleans cajun kicking chicken a little bit of crushed red prep peppers some salt and vinegar seasoning and some onion salt so here you go that's all the seasonings that we are going to be using today for this beautiful bird we are about to this bird about to be this bird about to be flavorful so boom again Here's all of my seasonings. I already went ahead and pre-made, you guys. So, let's get to cook, uh, not cooking, but cleaning this chicken up. And I'll be back, y'all, to show y'all how I'm going to season this bad boy up. Say do. Okay, my YouTube fam. So, like I said, you want to take your bird, clean up your bird nice and good. Here's all the little nasty, gooky stuff that came off of our bird. You want to get all that cleaned off. Now you have a nice little bird. You have your seasoning nothing I mean it's, it's pretty cut and dry right here you guys season your bird do not be afraid to season your bird so I'm gonna season with the breast side down first and I'm just seasoning on a plate for now because I don't want to um all my seasonings to fall off to the bottom of that rack so we are just going to season on this little plate first easy clean up you know as soon as I'm done I can throw it right in the garbage okay make sure you get the little one it smell this season it smell good don't be afraid to season your chicken you guys don't be afraid to season your chicken don't be afraid <clears throat> okay so you want to season that bird up nice and good and I'm using just, um, <clears throat> excuse me, seasonings that I had in my cabinet, you guys. I'm not going to use my all-purpose seasoning because I know a lot of you guys don't even have it yet. So I'm just using seasonings that I would think everybody will have. Okay, so now that side's nice and done. Take your little bird doop, 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 and flip them to the breast side. So y'all, be careful. Don't slaughterhouse your bird like I did. Because, you know, you got to get all up in the thigh. See, I be having to get up in them thighs because that slime be there. And we don't do that slime that be on them thighs. So, you know, I be having to lift that up, get all up in there. You know, so just be careful. Um, don't mess your skin up like I did. I jacked it up. But it's okay. It's okay. Because once we brush this nice little sauce on there, listen, it's going to be bomb. Okay, get all that. Get all up inside of there. All up inside of there. Get that breast. Don't be afraid to season your chicken. If you use that blend that I showed y'all, y'all, it's not going to be salty. This is not going to be salty. This is going to be flay bar on top of flay bar. So, 
that's about it. Rubbing in them wings, rubbing in them legs. We got it under the skin that we done messed up. It's okay. Just tuck it down. Ain't nobody go numb. Tuck it down. Take that seasoning. Go all up in the cavity with that extra. You want flavor from the inside to the out. Okay, now. Let's rinse these off. Now, let's grab our... Take this off. Let me just wipe up my area real quick, you guys. So now let's take this bird. Just lift them up real quick. Clean as you go. It makes life a lot easier if you just clean as you go. Get my pan over here. Oh yeah, our little pan, our little roaster pan we done made with our little fake rack, with our little fake, you know what I'm saying? Put it together. Put it together. So I'm gonna roast this breast side up. Let's grab you. Let's grab you, just like that. Perfect size, see? I don't tie mines. I'm not about to do all that. You don't need to. I don't want to. This bad boy is just gonna be falling all apart. It's gonna be so tender, but that's what we want. We we'll, don't we'll need to tie it all together and stuff. We we'll don't need to tie it all together. So now what I'm also going to do is just add a little bit, about a cup of water at the bottom. Just like that, I'm going to add a cup of water at the bottom. That's it. My oven is preheated on 350. I'm going to cook this bad boy for about... Um, see if y'all can see it. I'm gonna cook this bad boy for about, I would say probably about an hour. And then after that hour, we are about to, then we're gonna start basting. We're gonna start basting this bad boy, okay? I'm gonna show y'all the process. This joint about to be flavor on top of flavor. And y'all, this seasoning, it is gonna brown up. You know what I'm saying? It may even come out with, may even come out looking burnt but it's not it's just your seasonings are gonna get dark but I will show you guys it's gonna be all good so let's get this bad boy in the oven stay tuned okay my YouTube fam so now we have our chicken nice and seasoned in the oven now it is time to get to our buffalo sauce that we are going to base this nice roasted chicken with so let me step over here and get me a spoon and what I'm starting with you guys is one stick of butter. Okay. One stick of butter. Of course, you're going to need some Frank's Red Hot. Okay. Going to add some in here. I'm just eyeballing it. That's probably a baby one-fourth cup, maybe a half a cup right there. Booyah. All right. I'm also going to go in with some of this Frank's Red Hot Thick Sauce. This is Frank's Red Hot Sauce and barbecue sauce mixed together, y'all. Bomb, okay? Because I kind of want, um, it's just going to be bomb when we baste it. I kind of want a thicker kind of sauce. Let me turn my fire down a little bit on like a medium low. Okay, so here's this barbecue sauce. Give it a nice shake. Okay, this is easy, y'all. Okay, a couple of squirts of that. Booyah. Booyah. Okay, probably one-fourth cup. I don't know. Remember the rest of our seasonings? Remember the seasoning that we used to season our bird? Booyah. Put a little bit of that in there. Minced garlic. Y'all already know. Best stuff in the world. Just a little bit. We eyeballing. Wish I could tell you the exact measurements. A little bit of chives for a little flavor, as well as cover. Cover. Y'all hear me? Well, as well as cover. Color. Put them in there. Oh, yeah. Also, a little bit of brown sugar. Get a spoon here. Not a lot. We really don't want it too. We really don't want it sweet. We just want that little, that little bit of sweetness. We want a little bit of sweetness. Just a little bit of sweetness. Take your spoon, stir it all up, stir it all up. So y'all, once our chicken cooks, 
Um, like I said, for about an hour, we are gonna start basting our chicken like every 10 minutes until I feel as though, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's to the, uh, the way that I want it. So you could baste it as many times as you want, make it as thick as you want, but I'm probably gonna end up basting it maybe about three times. We'll see, I'll definitely let you guys know. So give it a nice stir. Then I'm gonna taste it for heat. Um, Cause I want it to have like a little kick. I want it to have like a little buffalo, little buffalo wing kick. We, we taking buffalo wing sauce, a buffalo wing sauce, and putting it on a seasoned roasted tender bird, y'all. I mean, come on. Come on, y'all. It don't get no better than that. Mmm. No better than that. See that? Okay, so that's all coming together. So I'm gonna bring it to a slight simmer. Probably gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. Nothing crazy. Then our sauce is done and ready to be based on our chicken. Let me give it a taste for heat. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all. Oh boy. Y'all. I don't even know what to, I'm not even saying nothing. I'm not even gonna say nothing because y'all can't taste it. Y'all probably not gonna believe me. Oh, when this get on that bird, it's over. It's over, family. It's over. And then, and then what we gonna have with it, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit of higher to uh, medium, y'all. Then we not even, this, this bird right here, you cannot, eat with rice or or potatoes or mashed you got to eat this straight up with some french fries probably get you a side of celery or something blue cheese listen y'all and i think this should be enough to cover my bird to base it a couple of times if not i'll just make another batch but i think this is uh definitely enough Y'all, I'm now this. I'm, I know I'm excited about everything I make, y'all, but this I'm excited about. Step out the box. I love stepping out the box. I love it. I love stepping out the box. I love my traditional recipes and stuff, but I really love stepping out the box. So, y'all, I think I'm gonna cut this off. Let this sit on the back burner until it's time to baste our bird. And I will be back, y'all. I'm going to come back when the chicken is after it cooked for an hour. And then I do my first base, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube fam. So, let me make sure you guys are focused. I'm about to take the chicken out of the oven for the first time and baste it. Here we go right here. Close the oven back. Y'all, it's looking beautiful. Hold on, let me... I want to make sure y'all could see it. Okay, y'all. So here is our beautiful chicken. Let me rotate it for you guys. That is our beautiful chicken. It has been in the oven for about an hour on 350. What time is it? Yep, about, a, about an hour and 20 minutes on 350 so now you guys we are about to take our beautiful ooh, okay here's our beautiful sauce that has been resting right here okay put that back like that and now we are just gonna do our first basting you guys so I really wouldn't worry about too much of the backbone of the back that's why we cooked it breast side up. Don't worry too much about the um, the back. When you um, break your chicken apart or whatever, reserve you some sauce and just brush some sauce on um, after it's all said and done because you don't want to get in here. You don't want to um, risk flipping your bird because you know it's going to be nice and like super duper tender. So you don't want it to break all apart you know in the beginning stages of basting it so just leave it be now we are lord have mercy i'ma tell you let me oh y'all 
if y'all could smell this so now let me put down my um saucepan and let me flip this bird to the other side so we can get that other side some love you guys okay make sure y'all can see like that make sure y'all got a good view now so yes y'all just get that other side some love nothing to it but to do it nice little buffalo wing sauce we added that um thick buffalo wing sauce with the barbecue and the uh, french red hot mix just to give it some thickness got the garlic in there you can see those bits of garlic i love me some garlic y'all y'all should know that by now mm, mm, mm. y'all like i said don't even worry about the back side the backbone you don't even have that much meat anyway you'll be okay see okay so that's our first get a little bit more over here a little bit more under the wings want to say hello to all my new subbies thank you so much for tuning in thank all you guys for tuning in don't forget to hit that notification bell y'all so y'all know every time I upload a video I usually upload for you guys every Monday and Thursday. Okay, that's good enough. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss out on empty video. So y'all, let me open up this oven and we about to get this bird. Oh, I tried to bring y'all over, but I couldn't. But we about to get this bird back in the oven, you guys. So stay tuned. That's the first base okay so then so we just based it for um the first time so now we're about to put it back in the oven for about about seven not even ten minutes and then we're gonna bring it out and baste it again okay because we don't want to dry excuse me we don't want to dry out our bird okay so we're gonna put it back in there for a few minutes bring that bad boy back yeah baste it again baby looking listen that bird looking good baby yes yes see y'all on the second base then okay youtube fam like i don't know if y'all listen i'm so amped right now do y'all see what is happening right here so we only based it one time i feel like we are only going to need to base it one more time Put it back in the oven for like five minutes and we good. It, listen, y'all, it still got like a little crisp to it. Y'all, the flavor, the flavor. My sauce didn't thickened up here. Hold on. My sauce didn't thicken up, but that's okay. Sauce it again, y'all. Sauce it again. Oh my God, the garlic. This is enough to make you want to cry. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. Forget it. Get all up in there. Get up in there. Get up in there. Get up it. Come on, leg. I ain't forget about you, leg. I did not forget about you. Look at this. Buffalo hot. What should I call this, y'all? I'm going to swing it to the other side. What should I call this? Um... Oh Lord, some things should be a crime. Some things should be a crime. Let's turn it, y'all, so we can get our other side sauced. And that's why I want to cook it on the rack, too, y'all. Y'all see all them juices at the bottom? I want all that to drip down so it can be nice and dry out. Okay, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at the other side. Now oh, come on, get under the wing. Get under the wing. This is, I ain't even gonna say nothing else. Yes I am, I'm still gonna talk. But I'm saying y'all, this is just, oh Lord. This is what you call stepping out of the box. 
Who said that hot wings had to be, or um, buffalo sauce had to go just on wings? Who telling y'all these rules, man? Ain't no rules to cooking. It's no rules to cooking. And y'all, so let me, um, if you're just tuning in, I put the chicken in the oven for an hour. And then I took it out, baste it, put it back in there for about five minutes, still on 350. Get up in there. You want to get up in the inside. Then I um, took it out, baste it, put it back in the oven for about five minutes, still on 350, right? And now I'm basting it for the second time. All we gonna need is two coats. And I mean, I wanna taste that buffalo sauce today. So I'm coating it on there. Nothing wrong with being generous with it. And like I said, don't worry about that backbone cause that ain't got no meat anyways. But if you do want some sauce on it, reserve this sauce. I still got sauce right here. Save it. And then when you plate your food up, brush a little bit on there. So y'all, that's the second coat. Let me give y'all a 360. A little 360 action. Hold on, let me get y'all focus in. Focus in, camera. There you go. See that? That's the breast. Y'all. We gonna put this back in the oven, y'all, for another five minutes. And after that, it is time to plate up. Let's go, stay tuned. Okay, my YouTube, YouTube family, listen, I'm tell, I already even took a little tasty taste, bomb.com, but y'all know I gotta cut into it with y'all. So I have not cut into the breast. We is about to cut into this breast because I know a lot of people are probably wondering, how juicy is it? Did it dry out? Is it juicy in the middle? What's that all about? Is it juicy in the middle? What's that all about? Listen, we're about to cut in it together. About to show y'all. After I tell y'all, listen, Frank's Red Hot coated my chicken beautifully. Thanks, Franks. Out the way you go. I am pairing mine tonight, like I told y'all earlier, with some beautiful seasoned curly fries. Okay? Curly fries out the way. I got me some nice refreshing celery out the way. I got me some nice blue cheese out the way. Thank you. Here goes the star of the show. Now... Y'all got a nice good view. We about to cut into this bad boy. So let me give me a fork. And we about to cut into this breast and see what our chicken is looking like. We gonna cut into it just like this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I guess I'll just go, I'll just go like this. I just go like this don't this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy. I don't know if y'all thought it was gonna be dry or what y'all thought I'm trying let, let me get oh oh not the breaking apart with the tenderness hold on oh my god oh my YouTube YouTube family it kind of broke apart right there but y'all get the y'all get it let me bring that up close. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Y'all. When I tell y'all, this was fun to make. Look at that. Come on, man. It's all good. It's juicy. It's still juicy. Y'all, when I tell y'all this was so fun to make, must try. Just put that right back on in there. Give me a nice thumbnail. Y'all, bomb. Try it. 
Love you guys. You guys freaking rock. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in the next. Tilt that down a little bit. Hope, hopefully y'all had got a good view. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh man. Y'all look at this chicken. Buffalo hot. Buffalo hot. It don't just go on wings. Do whatever you want with it. Do whatever you want with it. Okay? Have fun with your food. It's no rules in cooking. Do you. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody stay safe. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next video.